Honorable Leo Herrera Lim, Consul General of the Philippines. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we were supposed to have two other countries represented here, uh, Brunei and Laos. If you didn't get the tweet, they, they allowed me to speak on their behalf and use their time on that time, so <laughs> <laughs> my remarks. And, um, I think um, in, in, in fora like this, um, there's, there's a bugging question for those who have not been to our region. And the number one question uh, that's loaded, that's asked of us is, what's the greatest risk in ASEAN nowadays? And for me, the greatest risk for a businessman is not to be in ASEAN. If you're not in ASEAN, you're missing out on a great opportunity. We're, we're 10 countries, uh, possibly with uh, different uh, languages, different accents, different uh, cultures, but we speak the same message. We, we aspire for the same thing. And um, we want to create a cohesive region. And I think all our leaders during the past several years have been committed to that aspiration. And despite the fact that uh, we're countries with varying degrees of economic and social development, we're committed to that aspiration. That's why I think uh, if you're not in ASEAN, today you have to hop onto the next plane and get to ASEAN before the, end, the day ends today. So I'll give you time to leave the room in the next uh, 15 minutes. That's the greatest risk for me if you're not in ASEAN. And if, if you're interested in any city, I think the first thing to do is be a tourist in ASEAN. You have to visit one place in ASEAN and you'll realize that you've been missing a lot if not visited. And I'll, a friendly advice, skip the capital. Okay. The capital does not, like the US, doesn't, your capital doesn't just uh, represent the country well. It's the same with our, our region. You have to visit Los Angeles to get a flavor of the USA, where every, everything mixes. And if, if you're visiting the Philippines, I think you have to visit places like Cebu, Boracay, Palawan, skip Manila, and you'll enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the Philippines a lot better. So I think the common thing in ASEAN, the biggest investment you can make as an individual is be a tourist in our cities, in our places. And that's pretty much doing you good, you'll enjoy the country. Uh, every, every city I've been to in ASEAN is a city that's great and a city that's proud of itself. So I think that's the biggest draw in ASEAN, number one, tourism. And that's also the biggest draw in the Philippines. The number two in the Philippines, if you're interested in outsourcing, Philippines is a good place to locate. Uh, we've outstripped India in terms of the call centers, but that's not our core strength. We're, we're going up the ladder of outsourcing into other areas, backroom, knowledge process outsourcing, animation. Uh, we have good contacts within Disney and all the animators, and I think the Philippines is well positioned. We, we graduate a lot of uh, students annually that's good in management, good in animation, good in uh, processing. So I think if you're wanting to be competitive globally, you want to carve out the non-core functions of your business, you have to consider outsourcing as one step to be competitive in the global landscape. Visit us in the Philippines. So aside from surfing, diving, you can go visit some of so Then the other thing that you can, you can probably uh, do in our part of the world is look at uh, artisanal uh, merchandise. Uh, weaving, there's different weaves, different uh, products in our region. In the Philippines alone, if you look at the weaving, the cloth I wear, very nice for Los Angeles weather. <laughs> and uh, if Homeland Security had its way, this would be the outfit for all going through the airport. 
You can possibly hide any weapon. <laughs> no pockets. It's cool. In the Philippines, this is called the Barong Tagalog, Barong shirt. Barong is a knife in the Philippines. During the Spanish times, that's why Carlos, Carlos is a, a cousin of ours from another mother, <laughs> or from a stepmother, Spain. Um, when Spain was our colonizer, this was a, an imposed Gothic on us so that we could not carry our weapon of choice, the knife, the barong. And um, I think we've worn it now as a, with dignity and as a clothing of honor. And it's used pretty much in, in events like this, in weddings, and in state events. So for us, uh, if you would like to visit ASEAN cities, you have to look at weaving, you have to look at uh, some of the products that we produce. Uh, everybody on this table, we eat rice. Rice is a staple in our region. Uh, but if you look at that guy, Justin, Justin Garrido brings uh, red and black rice from southern Philippines into California. Some of the heir heir heirloom brands of, uh, of the Philippines. So uh, aside from eating uh, great uh, jasmine rice from Thailand, you can eat red and black rice <laughs> from South Cotabato here in LA. So for us, that's, that's the opportunities that you can find uh, all around ASEAN. The food, the clothing, anything that can make you competitive in the world, you can find it in ASEAN. At the same time, you can enjoy our different uh, places. And I think the greatest asset of every country in ASEAN is our people. We are probably the friendliest people in the world. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.